If you're planning a vacation out of the country this summer, your travel plans could be a bust if you don't have a passport. Well, that's right. Our Chris Walker joins us from Detroit Metro Airport in Romulus with details on why that wait is so long. As more Americans are traveling internationally again, the U.S. Department of State is reporting an increased demand for passports and the influx of requests could delay your trip for moms. The U.S. Department of State is encouraging travelers to renew or request your passport as soon as possible. The agency is reporting a record-breaking uptick in requests. Last year, 22 million passports were issued, and officials say current demands are on track to break another record. Hannah Owens is a travel agent for Paradise is Calling. She says post-COVID cabin fever is one factor contributing to the rise in foreign flights. They will start out by wanting to go to Jamaica or they want to go somewhere great and tropical. And then they say, no, I don't have a passport. And, you know, they think, oh, well, we want to go travel in July, but we have to get our passports. And I'm like, well, <laughs> um, because right now it, it is taking a long time. Back in March, passport processing times were updated. The standard routine process could take 10 to 12 weeks and 7 to 9 weeks for expedited orders. Keep in mind that that does not include that mail time. So if it says your processing time is 5 to 7 weeks, definitely add an additional 2 to 4 weeks of processing time onto that when you're planning to get your passport. And if you still want to enjoy a tropical environment without the passport hassle, there are a few options you can consider for your vacation plans. There is the U.S. Virgin Islands, very popular for people who want to travel somewhere nice and tropical that's warm. Um, you don't need a passport for that. Um, you can go to uh, Puerto Rico is a great one. They are U.S. territory. You do not need a passport to go to Puerto Rico. Uh, and it's warm pretty much year round. They're beautiful, beautiful beaches. Uh, you can also uh, take a cruise, though, if you are on what is called a closed loop cruise out of the United States, which means leaving from a U.S. port and coming back to a U.S. port. Um, most cruise lines do not require you to have a passport for that. If you haven't applied for a passport and have to travel internationally in the next 14 days, contact the National Passport Information Center. Slots are limited and not guaranteed. Reporting in Romulus, Chris Walker, CBS News, Detroit.